What is up guys, Hackman is back with another Destiny video. Today, I'm going to be doing my full Outbreak Prime review. Now, if there's any gun in the Destiny universe that deserves a really in-depth review, I feel like it's the Outbreak Prime, simply because this gun is so hard to get. And if you've done the quest, you know it's very long, and it just is such a chore to get this weapon. So why would you even go through all the effort of that to get this gun, if it was no good. Like, wouldn't it suck if the Outbreak Prime sucked? Well, let's get into that. First, I'm just going to go over all the perks really quick so we're on the same page. The Corruption Spreads is a perk that means that enemies that take repeated hits from this weapon spawn see the nanites that attack other enemies. Fallen take extra damage. Keep note of that last part, we're going to come right back to that. Then the next perk is Outlaw, and that just means that precision kills dramatically increase the reload speed. Then we have Virtulence. And that is Precision Kills releases Siva Nanite Swarm that attack other enemies. Now, this has a small cooldown, and that makes sense because if there was no cooldown, it'd be super overpowered. Then, of course, you have just your normal Drift Control, Accurized Ballistics, those guys. You have Lightweight, Hand Loaded, and Fixed Stock. So it's a pretty solid Pulse Rifle by itself. I mean, it's not quite a Grasp of Maloc, Clever Dragon Archetype. It's more of a slower firing, but higher damage, so we'll see how it does. First, I'm just going to start out with PvE to get it out of the way. This gun is amazing in PvE, like it was built for it. You're going to have Steven Nanites flying all over the place, you're going to be getting headshots left and right, and the Pulse Rifle is just, the, you're going to get the most out of this gun in PvE. You're going to see the perks activating very often, and you're going to be wrecking up a storm with all those Siva Nanites. So like I said, there is a small cooldown on the Virtulence perk, and that's just because if you were getting headshots left and right, there'd be Siva Nanites everywhere, and that'd just be way overpowered. So it's just a really small cooldown, and the gun actually lights up whenever it's ready to release those Siva Nanites. Now this gun is exclusively good in the Wrath of the Machine raid. Just remember how on the Corruption Spreads perk, it said that it fall and take extra damage. Now this is amazing just because if you're doing DPS to a captain or a boss, it's going to start spawning Siva Nanites and they're going to come right back and hit whatever you were shooting or other enemies. Either way, it's going to be doing bonus damage. Now just think about that for a minute. If you're DPSing a boss, say you're all out of special and heavy but you still have primary, so you're just going to start getting headshots on Axis. Meanwhile, all these Siva Nanites are going to start coming out of him. And like, I mean lots and then they're going to come right back and hit him. And then you're doing bonus damage with those Siva Nanites because it does bonus to fallen enemies. I mean, this is the best primary weapon to DPS with. So just to recap, this gun was practically built for PvE. You're going to be seeing Siva flying all over the place, and you're going to get the most out of this weapon. It's amazing. Now for PvP. So... I'm just going to start by saying this gun doesn't suck in player versus player. However, you're just not going to get the most out of its perks, like let alone trigger them ever. You're going to be able to get the Virgilance perk going because you kind of have to get headshots with this weapon. But the Siva Nanites are usually not going to do anything. And even once they track their targets, it usually won't do much. When it does, it's pretty cool and sometimes you can get kills with it but I mean you're not gonna get the perks triggering near as often as in PvE so that's a downside just cause then you're just left with the pulse rifle by itself and honestly this gun is okay but the worst part about it is is you're just gonna be going up against better weapons in the crucible you'll have people that are using like the clever dragon you know the guns that are the meta the guns that are really good You'll be trying to kill people with this, and then you'll get fusion rifled from across the map. You know, it's just hard right now in the Crucible, and I honestly thought it would perform better. I actually used this weapon before the Iron Banner, and I think I did better. I mean, maybe I just was rusty today, but I feel like now that everybody's running around with Clever Dragons and the really good Iron Banner weapons, this gun just kind of doesn't stand a chance. So really, you can be good with this weapon. And, like, if you're landing all headshots, you're going to pwn. But if you really want to hold your own in the Crucible, you have to be good with this weapon. 
And like I said, it, like it doesn't suck, and you can still get kills if you go into the Crucible with this, but you're not going to be the best player. So I am a little disappointed just by its performance, because I did think, you know, it'd be a little better, or it just wouldn't be as bad, I guess. And maybe I just was having trouble lining up my shots, but I feel like on my one-on-one -on -one engagements, I would land a lot of my shots, and I would even get headshots, and people would still outgun me. Whether they were using a special or just another pulse rifle, I was barely losing lots of my engagements with the Outbreak Prime. So, just to recap now, in PvE, this gun is amazing. Use it like it's excellent. The gun, like I said, was practically built for PvE. In PvP, it was kind of a disappointment, and like I said, it still doesn't suck, but it's just not the meta right now. Emphasis on right now, because maybe, you know, there will be nerfs and buffs in the future. Also, just the perks on this gun just go to waste, and that's why it's more of a PvE gun. I feel like, you know, you get other pulse rifles, and if you grind Iron Banner, you can get good rolls on, say, the Clever Dragon. But on this gun, you're stuck with those two, Virtualence, the Corruption Spreads, and Outlaw, and you just don't see that working for you in PvP. So in PvE, it's excellent. In PvP, it's alright. Now, I would highly, highly recommend you pick up this weapon right now if you haven't yet. I'm sure most of you have, but if you're in that group that still has not got this weapon, like, please do it now. Just because when the quest for this weapon was finally figured out, like, everybody was on LFG and the Destiny Companion saying, oh, I'm a warlock on step 6 and I need a hunter and a titan and you know you need for the quest people who are different classes than you on the same step and that's really hard to do and now you know there's still people who say I'm on this quest step right now but you know if you wait till like halfway year 3 people aren't gonna want to get the outbreak prime anymore because they already have it and you're gonna be trying to get it and you should really should get it right now even if you don't think you want it. if you don't have this gun yet I hope that's the one thing you get out of this video. Like, hurry and get the Outbreak Prime. And I hope I didn't make it sound too bad in the Crucible. Like, it's okay still, but if you really want to see this weapon's full potential, take it into the raid. Please drop a like down below if you found this video helpful at all, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more daily Destiny uploads. This is Hackman, and I'll see you in the next video.